for judiciary 4.1 public interest litigation why in news recently sc objected to frivolous public interest litigation pil petitions and imposed penalties on petitioners for filing luxury litigation about public interest litigation and its significance pil is the use of law to advance human rights and equality or raise issues of broad public concern or expression pil has been borrowed from american jurisprudence pil is based upon article 39a which makes sure that state secures and provides justice without any discrimination based on caste religion creed etc o pil is the power given to public by courts public interest cases may arise from both public and private law matters 1976 1979 1981 background of pil concept introduced by justice krishna in mumbai kamagar sabhavi abdul thai case where a registered workers association was granted to institute with petition under article 32 first ever reported ptl was hasena khatun versus the state of bihar that focused on inhumane conditions of prisons and under trials new period of pil movement was started by justice pn bhagwati in guptavi union of india case justice bhogwati has been the father of pil in india or some of the matters which are considered under pil are bonded labor atrocities on women environmental pollution food adulteration maintenance of heritage and culture etc pil can be filed in any high court or directly in supreme court important judicial pronouncements in context of pil sp guptavi union of india 1981 any member of public or ngo acting bona fide can invoke the jurisdiction of hc or sc under article 226 or 32 respectively seeking redress against violation of legal or constitutional rights of persons who due to social or economic or any other disability cannot approach for m c mehtavi Union of India 1987 PIL brought against Ganga water pollution SC held the petition although not a ripe in order to euro to move the court for enforcement of statutory provisions as he is person interested in protecting lives of people using Ganga water PIL can be filed by or any citizen of India petitioner need not be aggrieved person organizations with conditions not based on agendas but public interest awareness of a matter if is publicly important and can also appoint in 4.2 tribunals by in news Recently SC stated that National Green Tribunal NGT is subordinate to High Court in so far as territorial jurisdiction is concerned regarding an order prohibiting construction work at Rishikonda Hills Vishakhapatnam. More on news. NGT tries civil cases under seven laws. Oh. Prevent and Control of Pollution Act 1974. Oh. And Control of Pollution Cess Act Act. Environment and Control Tree Protection of Pollution Act Act. Act 2002 Act 1991. In case of conflicting orders constitutional courts orders will prevail over the two statutory tribunals. Earlier, in Elchandra Kumar v Union of India 1997 SC ruled that orders of tribunals under Article 323A and 323B of Constitution are subjected to the jurisdiction of High Court Article 226. Key differences between tribunals and courts. Feature establishment. Purpose. Procedural compliance. Members. Powers. Income tax appellate tribunal ITAT. Tribunals. By Acts of Parliament. Inserted via 42nd CA 1976 by adding 323A Administrative Tribunal and 323B for other matters. recommended by swaran singh committee to resolve disputes and complaints on specific matters not bound by specific procedures like crpc but governed by principles of natural justice a mix of judicial and experts with special knowledge limited to the laws under which they are set centro i administrative tribunals cat com petition appellate tribunal com pat customs excise and service tax pp lot tribunal i stat tribunals notional green in india tribunal not water disputes tribunal spinfake appellate tribunal arm forces tribunal aft about tribunals reforms rationalization and conditions of service act 2021 it replaces tribunal reforms ratio adjudication and conditions of service ordinance 2021 it proposes to dissolve certain existing appellate bodies and transfer their functions to other existing judicial bodies or for instance functions of appellate tribunal under cinematograph act 1952 transfer to hc it proposes to set up a search comm selection committee that will select and appoint chairperson and members of various tribunals it amends finance act 2017 to specify that these committees will consist of CJI or SC judge nominated by him as chairperson zero with second casting vote in case of type 02 secretaries nominated by central government high h courts by constitution of india only to interpret and maintain law and order in their jurisdiction and give decisions on civil and criminal cases bound by procedural codes judicial only power to use all enacted laws before making a decision national green tribunal ngt establishment by government under not act 2010 composition or chairperson appointed by central government in consultation with statutory body CJI or at least 10 and m plus m 20 judicial members and expert members tenure term of 5 years and are not eligible for execution jurisdiction over all civil cases related to environmental protection and conservation or its decisions are binding on all parties involved key development in tribunal system in india first tribunal is in kamp appellate tribunal established 194 first administrative reforms commission recommended to set up civil services tribunals at national and state levels 196 sixth low commission recommended upper to high power tribunal and commission 19 adjudication of matter in high court 197 201 202 42nd amendment to constitution was passed to constitute administrative tribunals and other tribunals finance act 2017 revenue tribunal by merging tribunals on functional similarity tribunals reforms creation was adjourned and conditions of sorbico bill 2021 was introduced in lok sabha sitting or outgoing chairperson or retired sc judge or retired chief justice of hc and or secretary of ministry under which tribunal is constituted with no voting right
It retains term of office of chairperson or member at four years subject to an upper age limit of 70 years for chairperson and 67 years for other members with provision for reappointment. 50 years is the minimum age limit for appointments as a chairperson or member. Related information speaker is tribunal. Speaker office has been under controversies for its decisions on disqualification of MLAs. SC has asked Parliament to rethink whether disqualification petitions ought to be entrusted to a speaker as a quasi-judicial authority, as speaker continues to belong to a political party either the Jua or the facto. Parliament may seriously consider amending constitution to substitute speaker of LS and legislative assemblies as arbiter of disputes concerning this unification which arise under 10th schedule with the eminent tribunal. 4.3. Appointment of judges via news. SC of India will have all sanctioned seats filled i.e. 34 after more than two years. Go on you. At present, SC has strength of 32 judges as against a sanctioned strength of 34 judges. As per Article 124.1 of Constitution of India, Parliament by law prescribes the strength of the SC. Appointment of Judges and Judiciary Chief Justice of India, CJI and Judges. Important Judicial Pronouncements in Context of Collegium System First Judges Case 1981 or SP Gupta Case SC ruled that recommendation made by CJI to President can be refused for cogent reasons, thereby giving greater say to Executive. Second Judges Case 1993 Supreme Court Advocates on Record Association SCARA vs Union of India, CJI only need to consult two senior most judges over judicial appointments and transfers. Third Judges Case 1998, CJL should consult with four senior most SC judges to form his opinion on judicial appointments and transfers. Of SC are appointed by President under Article 124.2 of Constitution with the help of Collegium System. QCJI should be of senior most judge of SC considered fit to hold the office. Next CJL name is recommended by the outgoing CJI. Zero Collegium System is the way by which judges of the Supreme Court and key high courts are appointed and transferred. SC Collegium is a five-member body, which is headed by incumbent CJI and comprises four other senior most judges of the court at that time. FC Collegium is led by the incumbent Chief Justice and other senior most judges of that court. District Judges Highest Judicial Authority in District Possesses original and appellate jurisdiction in both civil as well as criminal matters. Appointment, posting and promotion are made by Governor of State in consultation with High Court. Qualifications, or should not already be in service of Centre or State Government, or should have been an advocate or a pleader for seven years. Should be recommended be High H Court for appointment. 4.4 Prison Reforms via in News National Crime Record Bureau has released prison statistics in India, PSI Reporty 2021. About prisons in India. Prisons is a state subject. Administration and management of prisons is responsibility of respective state governments. P. It is governed by Prison Act 1894 and Prison Manuals of Respective State Governments. Ministry of Home Affairs provides regular guidance and advice to states and UTS on various issues concerning prisons and prison inmates. Parole. Granted to the prisoner to meet a specific exigency. It is not a matter of right. It is a system of releasing a prisoner with suspension of the sentence. Furlough. May be granted after a stipulated number of years have been served without any reason. Period of furlough granted to a prisoner is treated as remission of his sentence. National Crime Record Bureau NCRB Objectives of NCRB O function is a clearing house of information on crime and crime. Zero store coordinate and disseminate information on first state and international criminals. O provide training facilities to personnel of Crime Records Bureau. About PSI Report 2021. It provides data like numbers and available capacity of different types of jails, strength and training of jail officials and prison budget and expenditure. Key findings of report central agency under the Ministry of Home Affairs set up in 1986. O function is national storehouse of fingerprint records of convicted persons, reports released by NCRB O accidental deaths and suicides in India O crime in India O prison statistics India. About modernization of prisons, Mob Project Government of India has decided to provide financial assistance in form of grant and aid to states and UTs. Through Mob for using modern day security equipment in prisons for enhancing the security of jails and O to facilitate the task of reformation and rehabilitation of prisoners through correctional administration programs. Duration of the project is for 5 years 2021 26. Project will cover all states and UTS and cover the following prison types central jails, district jails, women jails, special jails, etc. O. O. High endotrials nearly 8 out of every 10 prisoners in Indian jails are awaiting trial. Uttar Pradesh jails record highest number of endotrials followed by Bihar and Maharashtra. Disadvantaged sections prisoners, 67 to 5% inmates belong to SC, ST and OBC communities. Of endotrials are from Disadvantaged sections of society, budget and infrastructure, sanctioned budget for 2021 minus 22 has increased by in comparison to 2020 21. Objectives of modernization of prison project. Filling existing gaps in security infrastructure of jails. Providing new security equipment to jails in line modern day technologies. Three, inhabilitation of through programs and skill development. Bring attitudinal in prison officials WRT, handling inmates through training. Core components of mob project are video conference infrastructure, body worn cameras, door frame, metal detector, security poles, etc., baggage scanners, frisking, the certain jamming solutions, etc., correctional programs, etc. 4.5 Death penalty, capital punishment, why in news? 00 Constitutional and legal provisions related to death recently, Supreme Court had SOMO to open a review of the process by which courts award the death penalty. About death penalty. Death penalty can be defined as a practice sanctioned by law whereby a person is put to death by state as a punishment for a crime after legal trial. Used as a mode of punishment since time immemorial. Death penalty in India and its framework. India is among the few countries that retains capital punishment under different laws. See infographic. 7th Schedule. Article 72 Artil. Indian Penal Code. Penalty in India. Criminal law, the criminal procedure are concurrent list leading to various laws with penalty. No pran should be deprived of his life or personal except according to procedure established by. Merek pardon of. This law outlines the provisions for the death penalty and enlists offences which the death penalty can be awarded. 
By end of 2021, 488 prisoners were on death row in India under serious offences with introduction proposal of more laws with death penalty such as Open Punjab and Madhya Pradesh introduced death penalty for causing deaths by spurious liquor. In 1980, in Vachan Singh v. State of Punjab, SC judges upheld constitutional validity of death penalty due to built-in procedural safeguards. Oh, however, it gave a framework for future sentencing judges when deciding between life imprisonment and death sentence. Important judicial pronouncements in context of death penalty. Vachan Singh v. State of Punjab 1980 consider aggravating and mitigating factors of crime and the accused. Use death penalty only in rarest of rare cases. Machi Singh v. State of Punjab 1983 identify the manner in which the crime was committed, motive, the antisocial nature of the crime, the magnitude of the crime, and the personality of the victim. Chaturughan Chauhan v. Union of India 2014 undue inordinate and unreasonable delay in death penalty execution amounts to total no ground for commutation of sentence. 4.6 Legal Services AUT HORITIEYY in News Recently, at first all India District Legal Services Authorities DLS ATME, Prime Minister urged the judiciary to speed up the release of interviews. Optional Protocol, Zero International Political Art Convention on Thay CAC International Convention for Death Penalty 2007 District Legal Services Authorities DLSAs Establishment and the Legal Services Authorities Act ISAT 1987 Appointment, State Government in consultation with Chief Justice of High Court constitute DLSA for every statutory body district in state. Composition, headed by District Judge who acts as Chairman of DLSA. Function, OW. Co provide free or legal aid, organize local adalats, legal litec, EACAM CTC. Show that justice and fundamental rights are not denied to citizens due to poor economic conditions. Zero reduce burden on courts by regulating local adalats conducted by National Legal Services Authority. About Legal Service Authorities Act, 1987 oh, it was enacted to establish a nationwide uniform network for providing free and competent legal services to the weaker sections. Article 39A provides for free legal aid to the poor and weaker sections of the society and ensures justice for all. NALSA has been constituted under LSA, 1987 to Monitor and evaluate implementation of legal aid programs and to lay down policies and principles for making legal services available under Act. O1 as patron-in-chief. NALSA is housed at Supreme Court of India, O under the Act, State and District Legal Services Authorities are also constituted, O free legal services aid authorities constitutional provisions related to interviews. Supreme Court Legal Services Committee IA High Court Legal Services Committee District Legal Services Committee Article 14 provides that the state shall not deny to any person equality before law or the equal protection of laws within the territory of India. Article 22 states that no one shall be prosecuted or any punished for the same offence more than once. Article 21 implied speedy trial is fundamental right and the guarantee of life and personal liberty. Article 22 directs that no person who is arrested shall be denied the right to consult and to be defended by the legal practitioner of his choice as well. Article 32 and Article 226 declare that only accused who is denied right of speedy trial is entitled to approach SC and HC for the purpose of enforcing such right respectively. 4.7. Live streaming of constitution bench hearings. Why in news? For the first time, SC live streamed its constitution bench hearings. About live streaming of court proceedings. Live streaming of SC proceedings as part of third phase of a court's project. OA court's project is an initiative to implement use of information and technology in judiciary. In 2018, Swapna Tripathi vs Supreme Court SC declared live telecast of court proceedings part of right to access justice under Article 21 of Constitution. Oh. Do you know? Gujarat High Court was the first High Court to live stream court proceedings followed by the Karnataka High Court. Oh, publishing court proceedings is an aspect of Article 129, as per which SC is a court of record. Currently, six High Courts, namely Gujarat, Arisa, Karnataka, Jharkhand, Patna and Madhya Pradesh, live stream court proceedings through their channel on YouTube. Other platforms to make judiciary more efficient and accessible. SUPAC, Supreme Court's portal for assistance in court's efficiency, a based tool that collects relevant facts and laws and makes them available to a judge. So as, neural translation, based tool for translating SC judgments into vernacular languages. Fast and secure transmission of electronic records, faster system, to ensure that interviews are not made to wait for days on end behind bars to be released because certified hard copies of their bail orders will late to reach the prison. Fast track special courts, FTSCs, set up under centrally sponsored scheme for hearing rape and protection of children from sexual offenses, POCSO Act cases. Newly initiatives launched under ACORD project. Virtual Justice Clock exhibits vital statistics at court level giving the details of cases instituted, cases disposed and pendency. Jessel's Mobile App 2.0, tool for judicial officers for effective court and case management by monitoring pendency and disposal of cases. Digital Court, initiative to make court records available to judge a digitized form to enable the transition to paperless courts. S3 WAS websites to generate, configure, deploy and man websites for publishing specified information and services related to district Odisha. Related information in camera proceedings Supreme Court has rejected a plea for in-camera hearing in a rape case. In-camera proceedings are private, unlike open court proceedings. Oh, these are conducted as per court's discretion in sensitive matters to ensure protection and privacy of parties involved. Court proceedings are held through video conferencing or in closed chambers and public and press are excluded. These are conducted at family courts in cases of matrimonial disputes including judicial separation, impotence etc. Zero also conducted during deposition of witnesses of terrorist activities as per court's discretion to protect them and maintain national security. Full court meeting. Our Chief Justice of India, CJI, called a full court meeting. Full court meeting literally means one which is attended by all judges of court. There are no written rules dealing with this. As per convention, full court meetings are called by O1 to discuss issues of importance to judiciary. O such meetings are used to arrive at common solutions to deal with problems that beset country's legal system and to make any amends in administrative practices of the court. Language and higher judiciary. Article 348.1 of Constitution provides that all proceedings in SC and in every high court shall be in English language until Parliament by law otherwise provides. 
no law has been made in this regard by the parliament so far. Article 348-2 provides that governor of state may, with previous consent of president, authorize the use of Hindi ENA or another ENUAA used for an official law of state in Rosedenes of High H4. 4.8. Other important news. Tele law service. Broadcast Seva portal. Bodily. Autonomy and integrity. Seal cover jurisprudence. Transit. Anticipatory bait tab. Constitution bench. Curative tuition. Power has been signed between Department of Justice and NALSA on integrated delivery of legal services. As per agreement, NALSA will provide services of 700 lawyers in each district exclusively for tele-law program. All these impaneled lawyers would act as referral lawyers and assist in strengthening the mechanism for dispute avoidance and dispute resolution at pre-litigation stage. Launched in 2017 by Department of Justice Ministry of Law and Justice, tele-law initiative is a reliable and efficient A interface and pre-litigation tool. Tele-law mainstreams legal aid to marginalized seeking legal help by connecting them with panel lawyers through tele-video conferencing infrastructure available at common service centers CSCs across 1 lakh gram pancha ads. It is an online portal solution for speedy filing and processing of applications of broadcasters for various kinds of licenses, permissions, registrations, etc. It is launched by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. It is a simple and user-friendly web portal that would bring transparency, accountability and responsiveness in the ecosystem. It will reduce the turnaround time of applications and at the same time will help applicants track their ORS. SC recently ruled that no individual can be forced to be vaccinated as bodily autonomy and integrity are protected under Article 21 of Constitution. It also said that government can impose restrictions on individual rights and public health interests if these restrictions meet the 3 FO1D requirement laid down by SC in Putaswami judgment as all legality, legitimate need and proportionality. Bodily autonomy and integrity is the right of each human being, including children, to autonomy and self-determination over their own body. Or it is violated and unconsented ethical intrusion. It is a practice used by SC and lower courts of asking for or accepting information from government agencies in sealed envelopes that can only be accessed by judges, or no specific law does define the doctrine of sealed C over any or protect dignity of survivors of sexual or child abuse which may affect their future life. Zero if the matter pertain to official sachets act or protect online investigation. Bombay High Court has referred to its larger bench to hear issue of transit anticipatory bail. Tab is sought when a case against a person has been or is likely to be filed in a state different from one in which he or she is likely to be arrested. Purpose of transit bail co allow the person bail so they can approach appropriate court or in state in which case has been filed for anticipatory bail or tab is not defined or mentioned under CRPC. Or section 48 of CRPC talks about rent of bail to arson and ticketing arrest. Recently, O1 assured that there will be at least one constitution bench functioning throughout the year in the SC. Presently, a total of 492 constitution bench matters involving 53 main cases involving key questions of law and constitutional interpretations remains pending in the SC. Constitution bench is a bench of the SC having five or more judges on it. Presently, they are set up by CJI on an ad hoc basis as and when the need arises. Zero constitution benches are set up only if one or more of the following circumstances exist. Zero. Or. Article 143 case involves a substantial question of law pertaining to the interpretation of constitution. Article 145 3 President of India has sought the SC's opinion on a question of fact or law under Article 143. Two or more three judge benches of SC have delivered conflicting judgments on same point of law, thus warranting a definitive pronouncement by a larger bench. A later three judge bench doubts the correctness of a judgment delivered by a previous three judge bench of SC and decides to refer to a larger bench for a reconsideration of earlier men. Center informed the SC that it will pursue curative petition seeking enhancement of compensation to the victims of Bo Alistar Ayat. Split verdict. Doctrine of res judicata. Doctrine of pith and substance. Doctrine of colorable legislation. Daw. Commission of India LCD. Gram. Nyalias GNs. Curative petition is last constitutional remedy available to a person whose review petition has been dismissed. Oh, it is not mentioned in constitution and was given by SC in the case of Rupa Ashok Haravi. Ashok Harar and ANR case. Review petition is mentioned under Article 137 empowering SC to review any judgment it to prevent miscarriage of justice, pronounced or order made Supreme Court delivered a split verdict in Karnataka Hajab Bank case. Split verdict is passed when bench cannot decide one way or other in a case either by a unanimous decision or by a majority verdict. Oh, normally, judges sit in benches of odd numbers 3, 5, 7, etc. for important cases. Zero in case of S-lit verdict, cases heard BLR bench constituted CJI. SE has observed the doctrine of res judicata is attracted not only in separate subsequent proceedings but also a subsequent stage of same proceedings. Res judicata, i.e., a matter judge, is the principle that a cause of action may not be relitigated once it has been judged on the merits. Zero it provides finality to litigation and protects parties from being vexed by same matter. Twice. Oh, it is defined under section 11 of civil procedure code. It means true nature or essence of something and substance means most important or essential part of something. It says that where the question arises of determining whether a particular law relates to a particular subject mentioned in one list or another court looks to the substance of the matter. Thus, if substance falls within union list, then incidental encroachment by law on state list law does not make it invalid. SC in various cases like Calcutta Gas Company case 1962, India Cement Limited v. State of Tamil Nadu 1990, Jilubain and Bhai Khachar case 1994 refer to the principle of pith and substance. It is essential to ascertain the true nature and character of a legislation for purpose of determining list under which it falls. It is based on maxim that what cannot be done directly cannot also be done indirectly. It depicts the notion that legislation cannot be used under color or guise of power which was conferred for one purpose and used it for some other purpose which is otherwise not valid. It is built upon founding stones of doctrine of separation of power. It is a tool devised and applied by SC to interpret constitutional provisions to avoid any unjust or fraudulent use of Indian laws. Oh, in Balaji v. 
State of Mysore case, SC held that order reserving 68% of seats for students belonging to backward classes was violative of Article 14 in disguise of making a provision. Under Article 15.4, Centre constituted 22nd Law Commission of India with Justice treated Ritaraj Avasti at its head. Law Commission was first constituted in 1955, since then 21 Law Commissions have been appointed, each with a three-year term. Law Commission of India, LCI. Composition, OA full-time chairperson, O4 full-time members, including member secretary. Non-statutory O secretary, Department of Legal Body. Affairs as ex-officio member, O secretary, Legislative Department as ex-officio member. O not more than five part-time members. Function, mandated to undertake comprehensive and critical examination of existing laws. O it is an advisory body to Ministry of Law and Justice. SC sought a response from all high courts on a 2019 plea seeking a direction to centre in all states to set up GNs. O as of December 2021, 476 GNs have been notified by 15 states and 256 are operational in 10 states. About GNs. Law Commission, in its 114th report, suggested establishment of GNS0P in 2008, Parliament SSED Gram NALAs Act. Salient features of Gram NALA ACT. Provides for state government in establishment of on consultation with higher intermediate. Court will appoint zero. Try criminal cases, civil suits, claims, or disputes. Shall be guided by principles of natural justice subject to any rule made by High Court. They shall not be by rules of. In Indian Evidence Act, 1872 Narco Test. National Automated Fingerprint Identification System NFIS. National Company Law Tribunal NCLT. Try Multi Agency Center Cree, MAC. In a narco or narcolysis test, a drug called sodium pentothal is injected into the body of accused, which transports them to a hypnotic or sedated state. O sodium pentothal or sodium thiopentyl is a fast acting, short duration anesthetic that belongs to barbiturate class of drugs that act on central nervous system as depressants. According to SC Selby versus State of Karnataka Narconalysis, polygraph and brain mapping tests cannot be forced upon any individual without their consent and test results cannot be admitted solely as evidence. Ministry of Home Affairs has inaugurated the fees. The fees is a countrywide search up database of crime and criminal related fingerprints project. O. O. It is developed by National Crime Records Bureau NCRB and would help in quick and easy disposal of cases. It assigns a unique 10 digit national fingerprint number NFN to each person arrested for crime. This unique ID will be used for person's lifetime and different crimes registered under different furs will be linked to same NFN. Earlier Madhya Pradesh became first state to identify a deceased person through HNFs. fees. Government has appointed 15 judicial and technical members at NCIT for a period of 5 years or till they attain the age of 65 years, whichever is earlier. NCLT, established in 2016 under Companies Act 20 i 3 adjudicates matters related to the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Court IBC and Compile. IE's law. It has a total of 28 benches with the RNCL bench in New Delhi. Several states lists have not uploaded a single alert on Creepmac. Creepmac was launched in 2020 by Ministry of Home Affairs to share information on crime and criminals 24x7 with various law enforcement agencies and ensure a seamless flow of information among them. Application run by NCRB aims to help in early detection and prevention of crime incidents across the count. 5. Elections. O5.1. Anti-defection law via news. Political crisis in Maharashtra has raised discussions over legalities of elected MLA switching parties. What is defection? Defection may be defined as practice of flow crossing by a member of one political outfit to another also commonly referred as horse trading. Or for instance, in Lok Sabha, if MPs of party A join party B, they are said to have defected and thus will face the prevalent anti-defection proceedings. About anti-defection law. Anti-defection law provides for disqualification of MLAs who, after being elected on ticket of a political party, voluntarily give up their party membership, or it was included under 10th schedule via 52nd Amendment Act, 1985. Question regarding or any disqualification arising out of defection is to be decided by the presiding officer of the house, or presiding officer of a house is empowered to make rules to give effect to the provisions of the 10th schedule. Grounds of disqualification or if member votes or abstains from voting in such house contrary to any direction issued by his political party. National party status. A political party would be on site at a national party if or it is recognized in four or more states. Or if its candidates polled at least 6% of total valid votes in any of four or more states in last Lok Sabha or assembly elections and has at least four MPs in last Lok Sabha polls. Or oh it has won at least 2% of total seats in Lok Sabha from not less than three states. At present, AC has recognized eight parties as national parties. Law allows a party to merge with or into another party provided that at least two-thirds of its legislators are in favor of. C. C. Exception to anti-defection law. If a person is elected as Speaker of Lok Sabha or Chairman of Rajya Sabha, then he could resign from his party and rejoin the party once he demits that post. Without obtaining prior permission of such and such act has not been condoned by the party within 15 days. Nominated member, if he joins any party after expiry of six months, or an independent member, if he joins any political party. 5.2. Simultaneous elections. Why in news? The issue of holding simultaneous parliamentary and assembly elections has been referred to Law Commission for a practicable roadmap and framework. About simultaneous elections, say. It means structuring Indian election cycle in a manner that elections to Lok Sabha and state assemblies are synchronized together under which voters in a particular constituency vote for both on same day. Constitutional provisions related to simultaneous elections. Article 83. Article 85. Article 172. Article 174. Lok Sabha shall have a normal firm of five years from the date appointed for its first meeting and no longer. President of India has power to dissolve Lok Sabha on advice of Union Cabinet. Plays down the term for legislative assemblies is five years. Governor has power to dissolve state assembly on advice of state cabinet. OSE does not mean that voting across country for Lok Sabha and state assemblies happen on a single day. Or it can be conducted in a phase-wise manner and voters in a particular constituency vote for both state assembly and Lok Sabha the same day. 
Same with the norm until 1967, but following dissolution of some legislative assemblies IH 1968 and 1969 and that of Lok Sabha in 1970, elections to state assemblies and parliament have been held separately. Later, say idea was proposed by election commission in 1983. It was also referred by law commission and NITI Aayog and recommended by the Nesh Goswami Committee. 5.3. Delimitation Commission. Why in news? To certainly, Jammu and Kashmir JNK delimitation exercise concludes. More on news. Delimitation Commission was set up on March 6, 2020 to redraw boundaries of assembly and parliamentary constituencies in Jammu and Kashmir. The Commission has proposed zero increasing the number of seats in the UT from 83 to 90. Or besides, there are 24 seats in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir op that continue to remain vacant. Delimitation in Northeast States NES. As per Section 8A of RPA 1950, President can order delimitation exercise to be carried out in Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur and Nagaland. Delimitation Commission, D.C. Establishment, Parliament enacts a delimitation act after every census which establishes a D.C. DCs have been constituted in 1952, 1963, 1973 and 2002. In 2002, 84th Constitutional Amendment was used to freeze. Constitutional Body, Article 82. Or, or, or. Delimitation exercise has not been carried out for last 51 years in these states. The process of delimitation for Lok Sabha and state assemblies till at least 2026. Under Article 170, states also get divided into territorial constituencies for delimitation act after every census. Appointment by President of India and works in collaboration with Election Commission of India. Composition, three members for each respective state UT, a serving or CUROT judge of SCS chairperson. Chief LA plus IB and Commissioner CEC or election colleagues and one are nominated by CEC. Saint Election Commissioner of Concerned STDT UT. Act of redrawing boundaries of Lok Sabha and Assembly seats to represent changes in population. Last delimitation exercise 2002-08 kept out these nests due to apprehensions over use of 2001 census. Also, presidential order of 2020, which allowed for conducting delimitation exercises in these four states as well, was restricted to Jammu and Kashmir only. Related information Jammu and Kashmir electoral role. JNK Chief Electoral Officer announced that anyone who is living ordinarily in JNK can avail the opportunity to get enlisted as a voter in JNK in accordance with provisions of RPA, 1951. Oh. Oh. Electoral role was last revised in 2019 under RPA, 1957 which became null and void after abrogation of Article 370. Under JNK RPA, 1957, only permanent residents were eligible to vote. RPA 1951 now determines the conduct of elections in JNK. With Article 370 scrapped, there will be a single electoral role now for assembly and parliamentary polls. Ordinarily resident is determined by electoral registration officer of a constituency. Or such a person may be from another part of country but living in JNK for purpose of work, business or other reasons provided the person gets their name deleted from electoral role of their native constituency. When Article 370 was enforced, those ordinarily residing in were eligible to vote only in parliamentary polls categorized as non-permanent resident NPR. Or NPR includes West Pakistan refugees living in since 1947. Provision of electoral rolls in Election Commission of India is working on fresh electoral rolls in JNK after JNK the Limitation Commission carved out seven new assembly constituencies, six to Jammu Division and one to Kashmir under JNK Reorganization Act 2019. All fresh electoral rolls are essential to prepare the ground for any announcement of elections in JNK last held in 201. 5.4. Electoral Bonds. Why in news? Recently, data from State Bank of India shows that since 2018, parties political have collected more than 10,000 crore rupees from EBs. About electoral bonds, EBs. Union Budget 2017-18 introduced EBs as interest-free bearer instruments in an attempt to cleanse system political. The off. Funding in the country. Rationale was to limit the use of cash in political funding, eliminate fraudulent. Electoral bond. What is an electoral bond? An interest-free financial instrument for making anonymous donations to political parties resembles a promissory note. Who may purchase these bonds? A citizen of India or a body incorporated in the country. What are different bond denominations? 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, I million, 10 million can be purchased from selected branches of SBI. When may such bonds be bought? Available for purchase for 10 days each in January, April, July and October. What is its lifespan? Redeemable in the designated account of a registered political party within 15 days since issuance. Which political parties are eligible to receive donations through electoral bonds? Political parties who have at least secured votes in the last Lok Sabha or State Assembly elections and are registered under Section 29A of the Representation of the POPs Act, 1951. When was it announced? Electoral bond scheme was announced in Budget 2017-18. What are other features? There is no limit on the number of an individual or company can purchase. SBI deposits bonds that a policy see Euro party hasn't encashed within 15 days into the Prime Minister's relief fund. Political parties protecting donor from political victimization, curb black money ETC 5.5. Election Laws Amendment ACT 2021. Why in news? President gave the assent to Election Laws Amendment Act 2021. About the Act. It amends Representation of People Act 1950 RPA 1950 and Representation of People Act 1951 RPA 1951 to implement certain electoral reforms. Key Features of Election Laws Amendment Act 2021 Linking Electoral Roll Data with Aadhaar by Amendment of Section 23 of RPA 1950 O Electoral Registration Officer may require a person to furnish their Aadhaar number for establishing their identity. O Persons will not be denied inclusion in Electoral Roll or have their names deleted from the roll if they are unable to furnish Aadhaar number due to sufficient causes prescribed. O Such persons may be permitted to furnish alternate documents prescribed by Central Government. It provides four qualifying dates in a calendar year, which will be January I, April I, July T, and October I. 
Act replaces the term wife with spouse in both the acts. Act expands the purposes for which premises can be requisition. Or. Oh. Or. Oh. These include using the premises for counting, storage of voting machines and poll-related material, and accommodation of security forces and polling personnel. 1951 Act permits state government to requisition premises. Representation of People Act. RP Act, 1950 inter alia provides for. RP Act, 1951 inter alia provides for. Zero allocation of seats and delimitation of constituencies for elections to the House of the People in the legislatures of states, qualifications of voters at elections and preparation of electoral rolls, ETC. O conduct of elections of the Houses of Parliament and to the House or Houses of the Legislatures of each state, O qualifications and disqualifications for membership of those houses, zero zero corrupt practices and other offences of foreign connection with such elections, ETC. Data are likely to be needed for being used as polling stations, or for storing ballot boxes after a poll has been conducted. Related information remote voting. Remote voting refers to a mechanism that allows electors to vote from locations other than polling stations assigned to their registered constituencies either within country or even abroad. Or, or. Voting rights for NRLs were introduced in 2011 through an amendment to RPA, 1950. However, Section 20A of Act requires overseas electors to be physically present in their electoral constituencies to cast their votes. Other mechanisms of voting zero. Or. Proxy voting introduced in 2003, a registered elector can delegate his voting power to a representative. Only a classified service voter, which includes members of armed forces, BSF, CRPF, CSF, General Engineering Reserve Force and Border Road Organization. Electronically transmitted postal ballot system ETPBS here, ballot paper is transmitted through electronic means to service voters. Members of armed forces, police serving outside state government employees posted outside India and Indian electoral system. Articles 524 to 329 in part 15 of the constitution deals with the elections. Following are the key features of Indian electoral system. Elections are held on the basis of universal adult franchise. Who is a citizen of India and not less than 18 years of age can register as a voter in electoral role of India. There is no discrimination on the ground of religion, race, caste, sex or any of them. There is a provision for reservation of seats for scheduled castes 84 seats and scheduled tribes 47 seats in Lok Sabha and SMBIs of state and union territories. Constituencies are delimited with the help of a delimited asterisk on commissions. Areas boundaries change from election to election, but the number of constituencies will not be changed up to the year 2026. Point takes place through first past the post system FPTP in case of Lok Sabha election and through proportional representation PR in case of Rajya Sabha election. Political parties are an indispensable part of the electoral process. Their spouses, people under preventive detention, special voters such as the President of India, Vice President, ETC postal ballot for NRLs. CEC recently told that a proposal on extension of ETPBS facility for NRLs being contemplated. While AK at present allows NRLs to register as overseas electors as long as they have not acquired the citizenship of another count they have to reach their SC Dive only in boost to cast their votes in Ersan on voting da. 5.6. Appointments of Election Commissioners. Why in news? Recently, a private member's bill was introduced in Lok Sabha regarding formation of Selection Committee for Election Commissioners A. More about news. Bill seeks to insulate appointment process of AK and mandates that they should not be eligible for any post-retirement jobs. It seeks the members of AIC, including Chief Election Commissioners CEC, to be appointed by PM-led panel. Bill seeks to give CEC and AIC a fixed term of six years and regional commissioners a fixed term of three years from dates of their respective appointments. Election Commission of India, AC. Appointment by President of India, Article 524-2. Tenure, six years, or up to age of 65 constitutional years, whichever is earlier, body, Article 324. Service condition, same as judges of SC, OAC or a regional commissioner cannot be removed from office except on recommendation of CEC. Function, elections to Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, state. Legislative assemblies in India and offices of president and vice president in country. 5.7. Social democracy via in news. About private member bill. Any bill introduced by a member other than a minister can only be introduced and discussed on Fridays. Admissibility is decided by chairman in case of Rajya Sabha and speaker in case of Lok Sabha. No private member's bill has become an act since 1970. Strength of election commission. The 25th of January 1950, 15th October 1989 only chief victim. The 16th of October 1989. 1st January 1993, 3-member body jittori, the 30th of September 193, only chief election. 2 by time. Nordic Scandinavian model of social democracy is in discussion due to recent Sweden elections. More in news. What is social democracy? Nordic model of social democracy is combination of social welfare and economic systems adopted by Nordic countries Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark and Iceland. This model has helped these countries achieve significant outcomes like high levels of an international trade. Participation in globalization, economic progress, low levels of inequality, high living standards, highest labor participation rates in world. Features of social democratic system include Reliance on representative and democratic participatory institutions where separation of powers is ensured Comprehensive social welfare P. J. Page P. F. 10160 Socialism or capitalism A social democracy is an ideology that seeks to promote egalitarianism within G. Separatist system. This involves using and economic interventions in order to create a fair and equal society within a capitalist framework. Equality Social depu, irats seek to create greater relative within society through measures such as wealth distribution and provision. Representative democracy is also used as a means by which greater equality can be achieved. Evolution vs. Revolution Unlike Marxists, social democrats seek change through evolution rather than revolution. They tend to promote models that combine capitalism and socialism in order to affect change in society including both private and state ownership. Universal services Modern social democracy is characterized by its commitment to the universal provision of services such as healthcare, education and care services for the elderly and children. 
Social Democrats also strongly promote workers' rights. Schema with emphasis on publicly provided social services and investment in child care, education and research among others that are funded by progressive taxation. Presence of strong labor market institutions with active labor unions and employer associations. This allows for significant collective bargaining, wage negotiations and coordination besides a no active role in governance and policy. 5.8. Other important news. Association of Asian Election Authorities, MA. Registered and recognized political parties, RUPPs. Election Symbols Preservation and Allotment Order, 1968. Contesting elections from multiple seats. Different types of votes. India has been unanimously elected as the new chair of the AAA for 2022-2024. AAA was established in 1998 to provide a non-partisan forum in the Asian region for promoting open and transparent elections to support good governance and democracy. Election Commission of India is a founder member of Election Management Body, AMB, of the AAA. Election Commission deleted 111 non-existent parties from list of registered political outfits. These RUPPs 111 were found to be non-existent and violating RPA, 1951. It is to be noted that AIC does not have power to deregister political party, reform still pending. Registered and recognized political. Those which have never contested elections since been registered. Parties RUPPS. Newly registered parties. Parties T8 have not secured enough percentage of votes in assembly or general elections to become a state. Approval from government. Oh, however, it can take up the issue of financial irregularities and seek mandatory compliance from parties like sources and manner of donations, disclosures by comenies, details of bank account ETC. Election Symbols Preservation and Allotment Order, 1953 Empower the AC which group is representative of a recognized national and state party. Tie if rivalry arises in the party. Decision of AC is binding. Or oh, splinter group of party other than the group that got party symbol had to register itself as a separate party and could lay claim to national or state party status only on basis of its performance in state or CRL elections after registration. For splits in registered but in recogni, ad parties, AIC usually advises warring factions to resolve their differences internally or to approach the court in almost all disputes decided by AIC so far, a clear majority of party delegates office bearers. MPs and MLAs have supported one of factions. Or oh, whenever AIC could not test the strength of rival groups based on support within party organization because of disputes regarding the list of office bearers, it fell back on testing majority UNLA and elected MPs and MLAs. Recently, Chief Election Commissioner has made a fresh push for amending RPA 1951 to bar people from contesting from more than one seat. Or as an alternative, hefty fines should be imposed on those vacating one of the constituencies and forcing a bipod. As per Section 337 of RPA, one candidate can contest from a maximum of two constituencies and all constituencies were allowed until 1996 when the RPA was amended to set the cap at two constituencies. Dinesh Goswami Committee Report 1990 and 170th Report of Law Commission on Electoral Reforms 1999 had also included recommendations for restricting one contestant to one seat. Legislative Department, Ministry of Law and Justice, is the nodal agency in government to deal with issues related to the A. Tender votes, these are useful when a person representing himself or herself to be a particular elector seeks to vote after another person has already voted as such elector. Or then, he shall be entitled to mark a tendered ballot paper in the same manner as any other elector. Challenge vote, it is a process where a political agent working at polling booth, called polling agent, challenges identity of any elector they think is falsifying their identity. Test vote, a voter who claims that the electronic voting machine or the paper trail machine did not record his or her vote for elector is allowed to cast a test vote. Registration of electors. National Advisory Committee on Accessible Elections, NACA. Election Commission in pursuance of legal amendments in RPA 1950 and modifications in registration of electors rules 1960 has initiated following changes those above 17 years of age can apply in advance for getting enrolled in voters list. All electoral roll will be updated every quarter and eligible youngster can be registered in the next quarter of year in which they have attained qualifying age of 18 years. Optional revision to link Aadhaar details with the form has been added. Election Commission of India has set up two subcommittees under NACA. All subcommittees aim to study ways to improve accessibility features of its websites and make registration of persons with disabilities PWDs as electors easier. NACA review work on issues relating to participation of PWDs in electoral process at state and district level. Oh. Deputy Election Commissioner is Chairperson of Committee. Meetings are convened biannually or is decided by Chair. Time error is two years or until alternate structure is rose.